simple premise, executed very well. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about Stowaway. It's a movie starring Anna Kendrick, Tony Collette, Daniel Day Kim, and Shamir Anderson. Those are the only people that appear in the in the movie. Um, we follow these three astronauts. They're on a two-year mission to Mars. Uh, you have Zoe, the doctor, David is a researcher, and Barnett is the commander. And, you know, they take off. Everything seems to be going well. And then they find a stowaway. Uh, his name is Michael. And he's unconscious. He's bloody. He looks like it looked like he'd been stabbed. You know, they patch him up, and you know they're wondering like how he got up there. He doesn't know, and they think everything is going to be fine. They're like, okay, cool. We'll just continue on the mission. And they find out the life support system is damaged, so it's not built to have four people on the ship. So they have to figure things out to get to Mars. And I like the fact that Michael. Even though he's the stowaway, he he comes in and he's like, I want to help. I don't just want to sit around. I, I If you need help with something, I, I'm a fast learner. Because he was working on the, the ship, you know, before it took off or anything. So he knows different parts of the ship. So he was like, I want to help. And I think that builds his connection with, you know, all the characters because he's willing to get his hands dirty and do stuff, you know, for the crew. Um, I enjoyed Tony Collette's performance because a lot of the time she's on a headset and you can he you can hear somebody talking to her. So it's all reactionary. It's all facial reactions, you know, as she's responding to whatever he's saying. We can't hear what he's saying, but, you know, she's just reacting. And it's never good news. It's usually like, OK, we can't repair the system at all. Or you have to make a decision about getting rid of someone. You got to get rid of Michael and, you know. I like the humanity of the movie where it's not an alien force, it's not something messing with people's minds and, you know, the crew turns on each other. You see that in a lot of different movies that take place on, like, you know, a rocket, you know, somebody goes crazy and, you know, attacking the crew. In this one, they have conversations because it's a difficult choice to say, we have to basically kill one of y'all so we can make it to Mars. Uh, David, as the researcher, he's trying to create more oxygen so they can, you know, survive a little bit longer. Um, Zoe is trying to see if there's more oxygen on other parts of the ship. Uh, and they have to make some tough choices. And I think they executed that. I think the movie is, again, a simple premise, but it was executed really well. It's a beginning, a middle, and an end. I know I joke that Netflix movies don't really end well, but I I was satisfied with the ending of this movie. It's a little sad, but it was a it was a good movie it's a little under two hours um but i enjoyed it if you watched the movie please let me know what you thought about it don't forget to like comment and subscribe thanks for watching